that's a bit of a shame if that happens. I also understand it's necessary for security matters, but um, this is one lovely part of Oahu. More than 800,000 people visit Diamond Head State Park every year, but the crater would be off limits as world leaders converge on Oahu next month for the Apex Summit. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Laura Yamada. Well, it's one of the state's most popular attractions. A visit to Diamond Head Crater and a hike to the summit is often a to-do list for tourists. And many local families buy a yearly pass to enjoy the views. But as KITV 4s Catherine Cruz explained, heightened security during APEC could limit public access. The trail closure is something regular hikers don't like to see. The state has had to shut down the popular park in order to make needed improvements to the trail and summit lookouts. But for those who come here often, it's a disappointment. Every time they've shut it down, it's been a bummer for me because I hike here regularly. And it's, I think it should be open always, so as much as possible. Right. Even extended hours would be nice. News of the possible shutdown due to APEC didn't make Cassidy happy. To shut this place down because of that doesn't seem reasonable. But, you know, uh, what can I say? <laughs> they're going to do what they're going to do, you know? State civil defense, which operates in the crater, is planning to ramp up during APEC. The economic summit is a national security event expected to trigger the activation of emergency operations center in the days and maybe weeks leading up to the Veterans Day holiday weekend. The state land and natural resources, which has control over the visitor parking, kiosk and trail, said it could not talk about the security restrictions until it gets the OK from Secret Service. This family visiting from Australia said it would be a shame if tourists weren't able to access the crater, but since their prime minister is one of the VIPs expected, they hope the public would be understanding. Of course, we wouldn't want anything to happen to Prime Minister Gillard while she's here, so we support the fact that, you know, security measures need to be taken. And others seem willing to change their routines for a week or two, but are dreading the delays. A little inconvenience, especially the traffic alone is already bad, and then adding the you know, APEC, it would make it more congested, I would say. Taxis and tour companies who normally service the park will have to make necessary adjustments once a decision about the hours and days of restrictions Thank you for calling. are released. Lots of uncertainty going into this last month before the APEC conference. Expect a lot of juggling to schedules to accommodate the high security measures once they're announced. Paula.